So this is our second access to video. So now we're gonna be giving you access to information on how to run a sample, run a calibration curve, and run QCs on the access to. All right, let's do this. All right, so today we're gonna just be running um, an, an example analyte. Let's, let's do ferritin, all right? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna load your ferritin reagent pack, which is this guy right here. So what you can do is you can go to um, menu, supplies, and then you can go load reagent pack, and you could scan this guy in, boop, and then you put in all that information and you hit done. And now it's loaded. And then you see how like, you see that little clippy thing? You want the clippy thing to like go in like this. So you know, it's gonna like touch upon that and clip in, okay? So you go in this way, all right? And then you should click in. And now that's in. And that's done. Now you've loaded the reagent pack. All right, so now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna run your calibrators, okay? So you wanna go to menu and you want to go to calibration. We have ferritin set up. If you wanted to set up a calibrator, you can go here, you can click add calibrator. Here's the box. Again, you just scan the barcode and it's there. It says duplicate because I already have it in, but you get the picture and then you add this calibrator in, okay? So ferritin's already added, okay? So let's go back to menu and let's go to sample manager. And then what you'd want to do is you'd want to load your rack with the calibrator. So check it out. I have six calibration points right here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's six samples here. So what we want to do is we'd want to load the rack with six of these guys. So if you look at here, we'd want to put the calibrators in each one of these cups. Now the dead volume for this guy is 150 microliters, so that's gonna be trash right off the bat. For ferritin, it uses about 10 microliters per sample, so you're gonna need at least two. So, you know, I would say minimum volume, you would need 170, but I would just add a little bit of juice extra to it, maybe like put 250 in there, so minimum 250 for this one, and um, that should be sufficient. So you wanna load your six, right? And then, um, and then you wanna get them in. So you can go to, you could scan the rack. So now we wanna add the calibrators to our test menu. So go test request, request calibration, and then you wanna pick ferritin. And okay, so now ferritin is selected. Fantastic. And now the next thing we want to add is we want the QCs. We want to request a QC here. So again, we can add ferritin here. So if you want to create your own new uh, QC, what you can do is you can go to menu, you can go to quality control, and then you could go QC setup, and you can click add control. You select ferritin here. The mean is about 22.6. The standard deviation is 1.3. Um, make sure you put the control here. So let's just call this ferritin 2. Make sure you put in the lot number and the expiration date. And then you click OK. All right, and there's your other point. And if you wanted to delete the control, you can always delete the control. So say, for example, this is your sample rack. These would be your calibrators. This could be your QC. And this could be your sample. And then we'd want to load the rack. So we'd want to load the rack. We had already scanned this in previously. You put it in, you close it, and then you select done. And now we want to run the sample. We can go back to the here. There's your sample and go ahead and click run and you're good to go. All right, so now you're like, where my data at? So let me show you. So if you want to look at your patient samples, you click menu and you click test results. And here you go. Okay, you have the date and you know the, um, the sample ID and the test name. If you want to review your quality control, you can click here and here are the, the ferritin samples and you can simply click compare charts and that way you can see your means and your CVs and your RSDs. If you want to review your calibration data, you can go to select ferritin and you can click review data and here you can see if your cal curve passed or not. And that's where all your data is. And now you know everything about the access too. So if you found that information helpful, if you like these types of videos, if you want me to do more videos, uh, drop a comment below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.